Hey, my name is William, and today we're going to replace the drive motor on a Maytag washer. You might need to change out this part if it failed testing or has been damaged. Before we get started, hit those like and subscribe buttons if you want to join our do-yourself repair community and get notified each time we post a new video guide. With over 2 million products in stock and the know-how to help you do it yourself, we are AppliancePartsPros.com. Today, we'll need a 5 16 inch socket and a 1 half inch socket. Always unplug your appliances before you do any work on it to protect yourself from electric shock, which can potentially cause serious injuries. Don't forget to turn off your water supply and unscrew your hoses from the washer. You might need a towel handy to clean up any unwanted water. To get to the motor, we can lean the washer back. I'm setting the washer on its back so you can easily see what I am doing. We're going to grab a 5 16 inch socket to remove the belt shield bolts, and after we do that, we can set the shield off to the side. Now we're going to pull the drive belt off the transmission pulley as we rotate it so that we can slide it down easier. Now we can set the belt to the side and get the one half inch socket. Before we remove the mounting nuts, we need to disconnect the motor wire harness from the motor. There's a little lock tab that we need to press while pulling the connection out. With the wire harness out of the way, we're removing the mounting bolts and keeping one hand on the motor so that it doesn't drop. After the bolts are removed, we can carefully bring the motor down and set it to the side. Now we need to push the new motor into place and secure it with the mounting bolts that we had just removed. Once they're snug by hand, we can finish sighting them with the socket. Now we will install the wire connection. And when they're set, the drive belt will then be put on the motor pulley and use a rotation of the transmission pulley to get the belt back on. We're guiding it up as we rotate the pulley. And with that done, we can reinstall the belt shield and secure it with a 5 16 inch bolts. Then lift the washer back up and put it on its base. Don't forget to plug your washer back in, connect the water hoses, and turn your water supply back on. You made a great job and thanks for joining us today. Make sure to let us know how the repair went in the comments. And if you haven't gotten a replacement motor yet, grab your model number and head over to AppliancePartsPros.com to order one. Orders usually arrive in just a few days. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. We've got lots more troubleshooting and repair videos and, of course, all the parts you need to do it yourself at AppliancePartsPros.com. Thanks for your support, and we'll see you next time.